Okay, so this is a, kind of a quick rundown of what what's going on with a um, the distributor and how we're using it as a cam sensor. So here's the distributor. This is the inside of it. And how a distributor works is there's one, only one coil. The IS300 and GS300s, they have three coils. One coil runs two cylinders. On distributor cars, they have one coil run all six cylinders. So power comes in here from the spark, from the coil, and then there's a little, there's a rotor in here that spins. And you got six points that are all spaced evenly apart. So the rotor contacts and boom, sends spark down this wire. And then it spins over the next one, boom, spins, sends spark down that wire. So the engine, need some sensors for that and this is what's under here this is the distributor and this is some little teeth here and this distributor is geared to the exhaust shaft and it's geared at a ratio of one to one so for every time this spins this spins once so because we don't need the distributor anymore for an NIT build if you're doing it a particular method then what we've got here is we've got these two Hall effect sensors and the Hall, Hall effect sensors are pretty simple all they do is they send an on or an off signal whenever a tooth comes by so that's how we do it this thing is spinning at the exact same rate that the camshaft is spinning it and we just output these sensors they come right out through here and then we repin them and the new ECU. That's it. If you have any further questions, leave a comment and I will address it.